Hello Minecrafters, Kevin here with Sneak Boy, a friend from Belgium. And uh, we obviously here we've made a tic-tac-toe machine, a very cool one. Uh, it uses very unique circuitry, so let me show you by resetting it with that button. And as we get started, Sneak Boy, why don't you introduce yourself? Hello, this is Sneak Boy, one the Belgium redstone designer, here together with Cyberglitch uh, for our tic-tac-toe game. I really enjoyed myself creating this together with him. And I hope that we can do some more projects together. But for now, enjoy. <laughs> He's cool. Uh, but as we draw a close to this stalemate, as uh, most tic-tac-toe games end up as, I'll show you the circuitry and how simple it is. And it's kind of simple because it's very unique. There's a lot of problems you run into with a tic-tac-toe machine. Here you can see we have 18 buttons to send a signal down for and organize and figure out what does what, which displays on the screen, and how to reset everything. Uh, but as I pan around here, you see that the screen is practically a flat screen as far as redstone goes. And we use sand columns to send signals up, so it ends up being really uncluttered, really nice. All those colors are coordinated with specific squares on the tic-tac-toe uh, cross thing, that number sign, you might say. And here we see, how do we separate things? We don't. We put all the wiring all together. And let me show you the trick that allows that to work. Here you can see, I'm signaling separate uh, repeaters even though the wire is all together. That is using signal length. The signal length can only be 15 blocks long, so here I add a source. You can see that it only reaches the right side, not the left side. And that's exactly what's working there. And so when I try to use two turns, like here I cheat and I try to press another button, it doesn't work. We have a safeguard to make sure of that. Now the indicators that indicate the turn sometimes don't work. That, As you can see here, that torch should be on. This server sometimes doesn't have its redstone torches work. We don't know why, but it's annoying. I wonder if anyone else has the same problem. Anyway, here's the system that allows that uh, control. You have all the signals combined for that input. The length is shortened using that piston for the signal, and it fires off all these pistons. And these pistons control a slide. You see, there's your nine inputs trying to come through. They come through these solid blocks fine, but they don't come through the glass and invisible and no blocks at all because the repeater can't draw power out of that. And simultaneously, when you push that slide over, you expose solid blocks in front of the wire uh, for the X side or the O side. It switches back and forth. So then you can see that power supply then leads from the slide as well to indicate which turn it is. All right, here's how the screen works. This is a slightly smaller version of it. Uh, but basically you have things pushed against the glass to make them dark to give the two-tone display. This does not work in 1.2. We have another fix that's in the works. Uh, but you have a power source that goes through solid blocks, but not glass. As you can see here, once it hits the glass, it doesn't get to the next repeater, and it doesn't signal that torch, which turns on or off the pistons. And when these slides, as I like to call them, the black parts are down, it signals the screen, but when they are up, they don't. So this bottom line of redstone becomes the reset line, and once you signal, that turns everything blank, uh, once you signal either the back, which is the O, or the front, which is the X slide, it'll, you'll see that on the screen. So now we just need to signal each of the squares, and here we see those are the colors that coordinate with each of the wires. Here we have blue, pink, and orange, and as you can see, all you have to do is signal them over, have them feed into the pistons, which put the sand up, the sand gets powered, which signals the next piston, uh, or if it doesn't, depending on what height you want it to signal to, and everything works. Ta-da! Uh, I, I have another video here I'm linking to that shows the full circuitry under there and how that seemingly jumble isn't really too bad. It's just a lot of inputs, 18 inputs you're signaling, those nine squares with. So it's got to have something there. Uh, anyway, we have a future videos planned, future projects, uh, but if anyone else wants to do a co collaboration, 
I love doing these. It's fun. I'll see you around.